Hey, what's cracking everybody? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today I'm going to be answering a very personal question uh, over some beer real quick. But anyways, uh, with that being said, now let's check it out. Um, why did I join the Army? How did I join the Army? And um, what I'm doing in the Army now? Okay. So, let's go back in time, man. We got to go back in time. So back in uh, was it 2003, right? That's the year. I graduated, uh, graduated high school. It was a couple months prior for me graduating high school. And a bunch of Marines came through to my high school and trying to promote and recruit us into the Marine Corps. So they were standing outside one day after lunch and I come out and they were telling everybody, hey man, if you guys can jump up and start knocking out these pull-ups, you know, you can do your 20 pull-ups, you're automatically in, in the Marine Corps. I promise you. And I said, heck yeah, man, I could do this, man. I could do this. So what I do, I go up there, and mind you, I was like 5'11", like 95 pounds, 105 pounds maybe, if even, you know. And I started knocking those out, man. And I got my 20. I struggled, but I got my 20, right? And everybody was congratulating me. And the Marines were congratulating me. And they said, man, you're going to be in the Marine Corps today. I was like, yes, I'm in the Marines the elite right then one of my friends hopefully she's not watching this video but she was in gymnastics and she came right after me man came right after me and she blew me out the water she knocked out like 26 pull-ups and I was like holy crud man I can't believe she just what and then everybody started laughing at me like I was the joke like I should have did more pull-ups than 20 and then, you know, being in the fitness industry, man, I realized that 20 pull-ups is a hard thing to do. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. So with that being said, you know, I was humiliated and that was, that, that crushed my dreams of ever joining the Marine Corps ever again. So let's fast forward this, you know, graduated high school and now I'm in Kansas. I'm going to go to college, right? And um, just like any other 18-year-old, going out there and they're trying their luck in college I go to college for six months and within that six months um, I said this this there's something more I need to do I can't my life couldn't be possibly going to college and do some more school for four more years there has to be more fun things to do out there and more adventures I'm young I need to go out there and, 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 and do young things so one day I was watching a U.S. Army commercial. A U.S. Army commercial popped up, and, and I was like, "Man, I need to call that number. I need to call that number." At the time, I didn't, I didn't know anything about politics. All I knew, we were at war in Iraq. That's all I knew. I said, "All right, I'm gonna call this number, right?" So I called up the recruiter. Hey, doo -doo -doo -doo. hey, uh, I'm interested in joining the army. All right, we're gonna send you a packet. Bam, send me a packet. The packet came in about four or five days later. Had all these numbers, call the recruiter closest to you. All right, hey, you know, I call my recruiter. Hey, what's up? Hey, blah, blah, blah. We went and set up a meeting. We did. He asked me a few questions. We took the ASVAB, uh, the pre ASVAB, and got all my info and found out that, was, hey, you're still a French citizen. You're not even Americanized. It's what it is, man. Can you still get me in? So then he asked me a very personal question. He's like, hey, you doing, boy? Just sit right over here, man. Just sit over here. What's up? Just got done doing homework. Anyways, he asked me, um, why do you want to join the U.S. Army? I was like, man, honestly, man, I just want to become a soldier. I don't know what I'm going to be doing as a soldier. I just know I'm going to be a soldier, right? And he looked at me and he's like, you seriously want to become a soldier? I was like, heck yeah, I want to become a soldier. Then he pulled some cards. He did this, he did that, bam. I'm not going to tell you guys what he did to get me in, shit. But anyways, he did this, he did that, bam. Went in, swore in, became a U.S. Army soldier about a year later, right? And it's, the process takes a while. It's not just like overnight, okay? It can be like overnight. That's if you have a really good recruiter. But anyways, um, that's how I got in. That's how I got into the U.S. Army. Now... Mind you, because I was an American soldier, uh, or not American soldier, because I was an 
American citizen, I was limited to a very few amount of jobs. You know, I only could do mostly, you know, um, quartermaster jobs or infantry jobs. And a lot of people love the infantry. But, you know, a lot of people would say, or they would feel ashamed to say that they join in as a cook. And I joined in as a cook. But, you know, was I disappointed? Not really. I wasn't really disappointed because I still got into the system and the system really treated me well. And not only that, with that being said, the first eight years of my U.S. Army career, I only got to experience my cook job two years. All right? One, one year was in Japan and then another year was when I was in Iraq. And after that, it was just constant different jobs. Working at the J1, you know, administration, working at the airport security, working at security, working as an MP, working as a guard. It's mostly security work when you're a soldier, believe it or not. It really depends on your, your on, on the needs of the army, but at the same time, that's what they had me doing was mostly security, security, security. So, um, with that being said, you know, um, that's how... I joined the army and that's mostly the main reason why I joined the army. I just knew I was going to be a, become a soldier and made it happen and here I am. Um, outside of, you know, being, a, I'm not, I'm no longer active duty. I'm part-time National Guard and I do this because I need to go to college, I need to take care of my family, and I'm still training up for a very special occasion, aka if you guys may not know, Special Forces. I uh, still have a lot more to train and I believe that my mentality is starting to become more mature. I feel like a few more years will get me to that point where I'm fully mature and at that time hopefully I can get my college degree at the same time so it'll be a double whammy. But anyways man, um, that's pretty much the story. Hopefully you guys like it. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto and I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. Nice. Breathe. Breathe. Thank you.